ladies and gentlemen, the U.S. won't give California farmers water, citing the drought. Mm, mm, mm. So, ladies and gentlemen, in California, they said that the drought actually have gotten worse. So, they're not going to be providing any water to California farmers. So water will not be delivered to them because of a severe drought. The decision will force many farmers to plant fewer crops in a region that supplies a quarter of the nation's food. California is entering its third severe drought year. Federal officials said Wednesday they won't deliver water to farmers in the state's major agriculture region, a decision that will force many to plant fewer crops in fertile soil that yields a bulk of the nation's fruits, nuts, and vegetables. It's a devastating blow to agriculture and the economy, to those people that rely on it. Mm -mm -mm. But unfortunately, we can't make it rain. The federal government operates the Central Valley Project in California, a complex system of dams, reservoirs, and canals. It's one of two major water systems that the state rely on for agriculture, drinking water, and the environment. The other system is run by the state government water agency contract with the federal government for certain amounts of water each year. In February, the federal government announces how much of those contracts could be fulfilled based on how much water is available. The government then updates the allocations throughout the year based on conditions. Farmers started last year with a 5% allocation from the federal government, but ended at zero. As the drought intensified, this year, the federal government is starting farmers with 0%, while water for other purposes, including drinking and industrial uses, is at 25%. Last year was a very bad year. This year could turn out to be worse, Constant said. Wetland water districts, the nation's largest agricultural water districts covering 1,000 square miles in Fresno and King County, said drought conditions last year caused farmers to follow uh, 200,000 acres while leaving thousands of acres of food unharvested. Damn, they didn't even go out there to get their yields. Mm, mm, mm. The district said that it is the fourth time this decade that farmers south of Sacramento River Delta have gotten no water from the federal government. The water system operated by the state government is also struggling. In December, state officials also announced a zero allocation. They upgraded that to 15% allocation in January after strong December storms. Anyone who's looking out the window in the past two months know that California hasn't seen any significant rain and snow during what are supposed to be our wettest months of the year. While December saw record storms, this type of climate whiplash makes it challenging to forecast conditions ahead. State law requires both systems to have enough water available to maintain, uh, to maintain water quality throughout the uh, county. So, wow, despite the endangered species fish, including salmon, uh, have been dying by the thousands because there isn't enough cold water for them to survive. 
So, wow, these farmers are being told there is no water coming for them. Wow. Mm, mm, mm. So we saw what happened last year. I did a few stories on how some of the crops and trees got all scorched up and boy, it was a mess. That drought kicked their behinds on the West Coast. They were hitting triple digits from Washington State all the way down through California. I mean, that was the crazy. And, and just to see Washington State of all places in triple digits, that was just like unheard of. But y'all, please tell me what you think about these farmers being told they are not getting any water from the federal government at all. I mean, this is just crazy. Please leave your comment and subscribe. Don't forget to hit on the notification bell and I'll see you on the next video. Peace, family.